negotiations with the Republican government are complete. The possibility of an armed conflict in the Nord Highlands has been successfully averted. However, they did demand that we hand over the mercenaries responsible for the attack as part of their terms. <clears throat> I suppose that's acceptable. After all, it was a shortcoming on our side that allowed that incident to occur. We should consider this a chance to place Rocksmith in our debt, especially with the trade conference on the horizon. Yes, sir. Though, it's regrettable that we were unable to catch the Mastermind. There's not a doubt in my mind that he's one of the ringleaders. Ha <laughs> Indeed. It seems we'll need to exercise greater caution from now on, if this is what they're capable of. Our next concern is the upcoming Summer Festival. Any thoughts as to the optimal placement of the Ironbloods? I believe their primary target will be next month's trade conference. I propose posting Lecter to the east and Milliam to the west. That leaves me here to take care of the capital. <laughs> it's almost like you read my mind. Very well then, I'll leave the preparations to you. Yes, sir. <laughs> With all respect, don't be afraid of working me hard, sir. I could run these kinds of logistics in my sleep. Ha! I am all too aware of how indebted I am to your abilities. That's why I'm leaving the Summer Festival in your capable hands. Perhaps you may even consider using them as a test. I... Please excuse my intrusion, Your Excellency. His Excellency the Governor has arrived and wishes to speak with you. Ah, show him in. As you wish, sir. Coming in. Oh, forgive my intrusion. I didn't realize you had company. No, it's quite all right. I just finished giving my report. It's wonderful to see you again, Governor. Likewise. I think it's been, what? Two months since we last spoke? I'm in your debt for helping out with the security arrangements at last month's commemoration event at City Hall. I've been looking forward to thanking you in person. Glad to have been of service. I'll be sure to pass on your thanks to everyone else involved. Anyway, if you'll excuse me. Good work as always, Captain. It never ceases to amaze me that a woman like that heads up the Iron Bloods. Your icy maiden has the provincial armies positively scared stiff. <laughs> Competent as she is, she's not the group's primary member. But she and the rest of the Iron Bloods continue to do some fine work, especially against those cunning vipers amongst the ranks of the nobility and the four great houses in particular. Agreed. But we'll need to stay vigilant. <laughs> I'm pleased that you agree, Imperial Governor Karl Regnitz. The feeling's mutual. Chancellor Gilead Osborne. Of course, and that's exactly why I intend to go with him. Next month's conference may be the West Samoria Trade Conference in name, but it's far more than that. It's the region's first international conference in modern times, so the discussions won't be limited to economic matters. Regional security and other timely issues are sure to come up. I see. So that's why all the region's heads of state will be in attendance? Precisely. President Rocksmith will represent the Republic of Calvert, of course. Prince Albert will be representing the Principality of Remaferia as its head of state. Crown Princess Claudia will be coming to represent Liberal in place of the Queen. And representing Crossbell State, we have Mayor Croyce and Speaker McDowell. All of them are either heads of state or their acting representatives. Meanwhile, Erebonia is sending Chancellor Osborne as a representative of the Imperial Government. But Father is the head of state, isn't he? Indeed. And that's why I'm planning to go as well even though I'm far from the ideal candidate. The Imperial family needs to be represented to make sure all sides are on equal terms. You shouldn't be so harsh on yourself. But I think I understand the situation. I feel so ashamed. 
I shouldn't have to rely on you to educate me about simple politics like this. Hmm? Recently, I feel as though all my inadequacies have been staring me in the face. I wish every day I had the intelligence and quick-wittedness you possess. And I wonder, am I truly capable of inheriting the throne from father? <laughs> you know, Her Highness Princess Claudia of Liberal once said exactly the same thing. She did? As the successor to the throne of Liberal, I've heard that she agonized over whether she was fit to become queen. But eventually, she came to terms with her own inexperience and vowed that she would strive each day to overcome it. And I have no reason to believe that my talented brother cannot do the same. Oliver, thank you. Your support means a lot to me. That said, I do think you should spend more of your time living life the way you want to. I don't think anyone would blame you for wanting to indulge your interests once in a while. <laughs> I am how I am, I'm afraid. To be honest, I'm a little jealous of how being so open and carefree comes so naturally to you. <laughs> well, I think it'd be less concerning for all involved if you avoided taking after me too much. Another thing. I sometimes find myself admiring Chancellor Osborne's strong-willed nature as well. Oh? He was quite forceful in introducing the Imperial Transportation Act last year, despite the opposition's objections. But ever since then, I've heard the number of orbital car accidents has fallen dramatically. I can see why Father trusts him so much. Well, I wouldn't disagree that was a fine piece of policymaking. The campaign he launched with the help of City Hall was exceptionally well executed. But on the other hand... Honestly, don't you think it's a little early in the day to be having a stuffy political discussion? Alfin? Oh, have your lessons already finished for the day? Indeed! They gave us the afternoon off to prepare for the summer festival! But come on, Cedric. You need to stop taking everything so seriously. We're 15! It's far too early for us to be worrying about politics! Actually, I'm not sure 15 is too early, to be honest. What you should be concerned about is being more of a man at official parties. Blushing head to toe just from a lady asking you to dance? Shameful. Totally shameful. Oh, come on. Why do you have to bring that up again? <laughs> you know, that did wonders for his popularity. The ladies at that party were swooning left and right. He was playing their maternal instincts like a harp. Well, I can't deny that. Even some of the men there were fawning over him, saying Cedric was more of a youthful flower than me. Surely you're kidding, right? <laughs> that reminds me, Alfin. Have you decided on your dance partner for the upcoming garden party? Yeah! You've always avoided dancing at official functions. <laughs> Curious, are we? Well, I do have someone in mind this time. Although whether I can get him to say yes... R really My, my! It sounds like you aren't just blowing smoke. Imperial Chronicle is going to have a field day when they find out. Y you're really going to dance with someone? C could it be a son from one of the four great houses? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to discover. He is a noble, though. I'll give you that much. Oh, that reminds me. Prince Oliver, I have a proposal I'd like to discuss with you. I should open that letter from Reen that came in this morning. <sighs> I'm almost afraid to think how Her Highness would have reacted if she found this. Dear Miss Schwarzer. <laughs> really, Reen? Still Miss Schwarzer? I'm your own sister. What? <laughs> 
Irene, why? Mid-July. Summer had come to Trista, and that meant it was time for us students to dust off our short-sleeved shirts. months of experience under our belts, we finally found ourselves adjusting to the rigors of our coursework. And it was during those early days of summer, before the heat became well and truly withering, that we saw the start of a uniquely seasonal new lesson. All right, that should be enough of a warm-up. I'm supposed to remind you that swimming classes here are meant to teach you skills relevant to military service. You know, how not to drown if you wind up in the water, how to save others from drowning, CPR, that kind of stuff. In fact, CPR is a pretty vital skill on any battlefield. Reen, Elisa, would you care to give us a demonstration? Uh, instructor! In front of everyone? Come on guys, just kidding around. Point is, it's still important that you learn how to do it and that you won't hesitate to use it if the need arises. Whether that means locking lips with someone of the same sex or the opposite? Uh... Of course. Well, it is a skill we can use to save someone's life. After we've covered that, I'll be timing how long it takes each of you to swim the length of the pool. Will you give me a hand, Laura? As you wish. You're up, Gaius. Ready, and go! You're next, Emma. Ready, go! Wow, look at Gaius go! Yeah, I already used to swim in that lake in the Highlands every summer, so I kind of expected that. Emma's a lot faster than I thought she'd be, too. Though it's not much her swimming ability that I envy. What do you... Oh. Oh, I get it. You don't need to get it. Anyway, what are you doing just staring at girls in swimsuits? I'm not staring. My eyes are just pointed in that general direction. Well, any guy would have a hard time taking his eyes off of our class's girls. I'm not even sure who to gawk at first. I mean, even the other guys are handsome. You're pretty toned yourself, Reem. You think? Well, it does look like you put a lot into your exercise and training. As for you, Elliot, I think you're better just the way you are. Oh, really? I don't think I want to imagine Elliot all buff and ripped. Hmm? Hey, what's that on the left side of your chest, Reen? Some kind of scar? Hmm? Oh, you're right. It's so faint that I hadn't noticed it before. Oh, that. It's some kind of mark. It's been there as long as I can remember. Don't know how I got it, though. Actually, when I look at it more closely, it looks more like a bunch of little scars all knit together. It makes you look really manly and tough. I kind of wish I had one now. Seriously? It really wouldn't suit you. Trust me. <sighs> Can't believe we finished with the exact same time. We must be destined to strive against each other forever. <laughs> What are you talking about? The only one I was competing against was myself. And even then, I barely put much effort into it. Well, it's not like I was giving my best either. <laughs> These two. 
that was refreshing. I wouldn't mind swimming a little longer, actually. Okay, Laura, are you ready? I'll time your lap. Though I doubt I really need to, considering you're in the swimming club. No, please do. So Laura's next. You can tell she's a member of the swimming club. Just look at the way she stands on the block. Ready, and go! Whoa, she's fast. Uh, how is she doing it? Impressive. Oof. Well done. Let's see. 20.02 seconds. Not bad at all. All right. I think it's time for me to dive into the mix. Everyone, pick a partner. It's time for a little head-to-head -head competition. Well, that came out of nowhere. Uh-oh. Races. <laughs> it appears we've been given a chance to settle this once and for all. I'm ready when you are. I think we'd be a good match, Emma. How about it? <laughs> True. Our times were pretty close. Hmm. How about it, Laura? Want to partner up with me? Not today, I'm afraid. I wish to challenge Fee this time. Me? Laura? But your times weren't even close. Well, all right, let's go with that. I guess that leaves me with... Reen. It's your lucky day again! Wait, why me? Exhausted. You know, this seems like it would be pretty effective as part of a diet plan. Okay, let's see what you got. Y yeah. There's no way I'm going to win this, is there? <laughs> Go easy on me, guys. <laughs> Same to you. Ready? Go! Actually, one. <laughs> Nicely done, Rain. Oh, I'm exhausted. <sighs> oh, okay. Are you both ready? Not quite. V. How about giving it all you've got this time? Huh? Uh, Laura? What if I already did? I don't think so. I could tell just by watching you. Don't make light of me. Your earlier time was certainly not the best you're capable of. <laughs> well, it's not very polite to your opponent to hold back. <sighs> this isn't like the battlefields you grew up fighting on. It's a place you can grow and better yourself by challenging others. Deep down, I know you realize that. <sighs> mm. Good. Then let us begin. Mm. Looking at them like this, it's obvious how different their builds are. If build were all that mattered, we would have turned in faster times than either of them. I imagine the difference lies in their control of their bodies. Yeah, this'll be one to watch. Ready, go!
What? I incredible! Whoa! Which of them was first? It was too close to call. No, there was a tiny difference. Laura came out ahead on this one. Having longer arms might have been the deciding factor, even. Oh, I wish I could have joined in. <laughs> well done. <sighs> the same to you. You can do this when you want to, and yet, you consistently hold back. Why? <laughs> no reason, really? Too much effort, I guess. It seems we truly cannot find a middle ground.
guess there are cicadas around Trista, too. When I hear them, I always feel like that's when summer's really arrived. Retiring for the day, Schwarzer? Instructor Neidhart? Yes. Are you heading out, too? Indeed. I have some business to take care of with my division, so I'll be returning there tomorrow. With that on the agenda, I thought it wise to finish the day's work early. Your division? Oh, yeah. You were sent here by the Imperial Army, right? Correct. But because of that, it's difficult to keep a regular schedule here. Anyway, while I'm here, I want to acknowledge the work you did during your field study last month. You mean that incident in Nord? The same. Reading the Army's report, it seemed that armed conflict with the Republican Army was a real possibility. While the Intelligence Division no doubt had a hand in resolving the conflict, you and the other members of your group played an integral part in averting a war. You deserve credit for that. Um, thanks. You haven't been able to find out anything more about that man with the glasses, have you? The one who hired the mercenaries and introduced himself as Gideon? Regrettably not. The but they don't appear to have found anything yet. Personally, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they had discovered something already, but chose not to share it with us. I see. Schwarzer, I'll be the first to admit you performed admirably out there. But I assume you're aware that luck played a large part in your success? <laughs> well, I... Reading your report, the number of arbitrary decisions stood out to me. For an army to function, its members need to work together as a group, united under the will of its commander. As an organization, it can't perform at its best if its members disregard authority and act on instinct. You've already been over this in class, I believe? Yes, Instructor. I realize now that our actions in Nord were rash, that they made things harder for the Lieutenant General. If it wasn't for our inexperience, we might have been able to capture the man with the glasses, too. If you understand that, I have nothing further to say on the matter. It's not my intent to belittle your efforts. Your report indicates that you were forced to make a number of split-second decisions. I'm not suggesting that there's no place for flexibility and independent thought in an organization like the Army, but it's vital for you to understand the reasoning behind and importance of that structure and to respect it. Yes, Instructor. <sighs> Teaching cadets to respect and work within that system should be the job of their class's instructor. Though considering her background, I was foolish to expect that of her. Her? You're talking about Instructor Sarah? Indeed. Granted, she's quite skilled, but she lacks the disposition and diligence of a soldier. I understand she didn't come from an army background, but with her position, one would hope she would pick up on the basics. Oh, so... Do you know what Instructor Sarah did before she became an instructor here? Oh? Is she keeping mum about that? I just assumed you were already aware. Before she came to Thor's, Sarah was... Uh-uh-uh! It's not very becoming of a gentleman to go around broadcasting a lady's secrets, you know. I Instructor Sarah? Instructor Valestein. I totally understand where you're coming from. You meet a beautiful, captivating lady and you want to know more. But don't let hard-headed officer types like our friend here rub off on you too much. Got it? You always play by the rules and you'll find yourself in a jam someday when you encounter people who don't. I instructor <laughs> You're one to talk. I hardly think a capricious instructor who leaves everything to chance is capable of guiding our cadets to greatness. Well, of course I couldn't do a better job than the ace of the 4th Armored Division. Or was that the Provincial Army? I mean, you've got the whole tradition and status or everything mindset down pat. Hmm. 
These two really don't seem to get along. First Sharon, now Instructor Nightheart. Instructor Sarah almost seems like she's spoiling for a fight. Who do we have here? Well, if it isn't Instructor Sarah and Instructor Nightheart. Ah, Instructor Thomas? Ah, oh, and young Reen is with you too! Simply marvelous. It looks like you're having a downright jolly time. Would you mind if I joined you? Uh, I'm not sure that would be... Uh, <laughs> actually, I was just leaving. Come along, Reen. We need to hurry back to the dorms now. We do? Oh, but... While we're all together like this, what say we have a few drinks together and enjoy some quality faculty bonding time? I heard the two of you really know how to hold your liquor. I'm afraid I really must. I've actually just been hit with the overwhelming urge to drink alone in my room tonight. Now, now, there's no need to be shy. We're all friends here. Oh, I know! Why don't you come along with us, Reen? We can't float a beer your way quite yet, but I'd be happy to treat you to something else. No, it's quite all right. You teachers are always so busy, I'd hate to get in the way of your quality bonding time. So, if you'll excuse me, I'll be sure to let Sharon know that you're having dinner out tonight, Instructor. No, Reen, well, wait! What kind of heartless monster are you? Get back here, Rain Schwarzer! <laughs> well, shall we be off? I... I couldn't possibly. I need to depart early tomorrow morning, so I really must insist.
bring it on! Go! Alright, let's do this! My turn! My turn! Yep! Here we go! My turn! Alright, let's do this! Here we go! Arcus, activate! Yep! Huh. Here we go! There! My turn! There! Yep! My turn! Arcus, act! Go! There! Yep! Here we go! Yep! Go! Go! Won't give up!
Irene, did you get the request list? Phew! Glad to hear it. I was half asleep on my way to the academy this morning, so I wasn't totally sure if I'd put them in your mailbox or not. I take my work home all the time, but the sleep deprivation is really starting to get to me. <laughs> That's right! I dropped them off on my way to the academy. Oh, it's really no problem. You're always helping us out, so it's the least I can do. <laughs> well then, good luck today!
my turn. Be careful, everyone! Hostile spotted. Beginning combat. Here we go! Alright, let's Fire. do this! I'll handle it. Here! It's my turn! Full moon, shield us from the crescent shell! <laughs> my turn! Keep it up, everyone! My turn! There! Now's our chance! B! Okay, okay. I'll handle it. Target lock! Yeah! Here! Oh, we should be safe now. Enemy sighted! Take My turn! Out. Here! Here we go! All right, let's yeah. do this! My turn! Keep it up, everyone! Yeah! Hear me. Thanks. Too slow! Here we go. Still feed. Dang! That's that. that. Done. But we can't relax yet. Careful, My turn. Everyone. Here we go. All right, let's Fly do this. To me. Okay. Gleaming blade. Go. Uh. I'll handle it. Target lock. Now. Got it. My turn. Night. My turn. There! Go! Welcome. It's my turn. Uh, I'll handle it. <laughs> Done. But we can't relax yet. Making progress. Nicely done. <gasps> Bring it on! Here we go! Alright, let's Got do this! Stuff. I'll handle it. Target locked! Right! Keep it up, everyone! It's my turn! Hear me. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Here we go! Alright, let's right. do this! Right! Nice! Yeah! Ugh. This is it! I'll pick you up! I'll handle it. <coughs> Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. Here we 
careful, go. everyone. All right, let's Got do it. this. My turn. Target locked. Yeah. Gleaming glitch. Go. Too slow. Right. Nice. Too slow. Too slow. Oh no, you don't. My turn. Target lock. My turn. There. Okay. Yeah. My turn. My turn. Target's eliminated. Let's get going. Boy, there's more? Hey. <sighs> Let's get this over. Okay. Target lock. My turn. There. Go. B. Okay. okay. <laughs> Keep it up, everyone. Okay. Here. My turn. Here we go. It's my turn. Yeah. Oh, we should be safe now. <laughs> oh, it's a treasure chest. We'll have to fight our way through. My turn. Flames, gavel on my blade. That's that. Let's keep moving. I did it! Success! <laughs> I did it! A plus outcome. We'll have to fight our way through! My turn! Turn! Go! Broken. Okay. Here! <laughs> Give it up, everyone! Yeah! Gleaming blade! Go! Here we go! There! My turn. Now. Nice! Okay. My turn. That's that. Let's keep moving. That's by treasure. It's a beautiful looking treasure chest. <laughs> okay. Here. Here we go. Sarah, go. Welcome. <laughs> Keep it up, everyone. Gleaming Blade! Go! <laughs> My turn! Another chance! Broken! I'll handle it. Here! Right! Nice! My turn! <laughs> That's the power of the eight leaves. I feel like I'm going stronger. Nicely done! Hostile spotted. I'll handle it. Here! My turn! Alright, let's yeah. do this! <laughs> nice! It's my turn! Arcus, activate! <laughs> oh no, you don't! Your turn! No! Okay. 
Arcus, activate. Yeah. Oh no, you don't. Here we go. Okay. My turn. Keep it up, everyone. I'll handle it. Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. My turn. Target lock. Uh, my turn. Keep it up, everyone. Okay. Hear me. Thanks. Uh, I'll handle it. Target lock. Go. Sit. Right. Keep it up, everyone. Uh, yeah! Hear me. Thanks. I'll handle it. Target lock! Here we go! There! Uh, I'll handle it. <laughs> Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. Let's get this over with. Here we go. Go! Right! Yeah! Go! Turn. Right! Hey. It's my turn here! Go! Turn. That's that. Let's keep moving. Enemies ahead! We'll here we have go! to fight! Alright, let's yeah, do let's this! Go. I'll handle it. It's my turn! Hear me! Thanks! <laughs> Your turn! <laughs> Listen to my song of healing! Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much! <laughs> Your turn! Okay. Target lock! Here we go! <laughs> it's my turn! Hear me! Thanks! <laughs> Listen to my song of healing. I'll handle it. <laughs> Targets eliminated. Let's get going. Oh, that's a beautiful looking treasure chest. Bring it on! Here we go! Flames? My turn. Here! Right! Keep it up, everyone! Yeah! Uh huh? Yeah! Okay. Target lock! Now! Yeah. Okay, Reed. Right! Turn! Okay! Here! My turn! My turn! I'll handle it. Done. But we can't relax yet. I did it! <laughs> I did it! This one's dangerous. Stay on My your toes. turn. All right, let's right. do this. I'll handle it. Right. Ha! Delicious. 
Delicious! Go! Alright, let's do this! Listen to my song of feel. Yes, thank you very much! Oh no, you don't! There you go. Right! Keep it up, everyone! My turn! Sorry! I'll handle this! Let's go! Okay! Arcus, activate! <laughs> this is my sweet party level! I'm introducing an arrow! I'll do it. Yes! <laughs> Thank you very much! Yes! Be careful! I'll handle it. Arcus, activate! <laughs> Thanks. My turn. 
Keep it up, everyone! There we go. Ha! I'm sorry, everyone. My turn. <laughs> Thank you very much. I can do this. Hang in there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Arcus activate. Yeah. My turn. Give it up, everyone. Yeah. Hear me. Thanks. Here we go. It's my turn. Hang in there. Oh, thank you very much. My turn. Arcus, activate. Yeah. My turn. Give it up, everyone. Okay. Hear me. <laughs> Thanks. Here we go. Right. Turn to flames. Burn. I'll handle it. My turn. Here we go. Right. Give it up, everyone. It's my turn! Hear me. Thanks. I can do this. Let's go! I'll handle it. Arcus, activate. Yeah. Huh? My turn. Arcus, activate. <laughs> Here we go. Hostiles neutralized. Just for safe. <laughs> I did it! Success! Alright! I feel like I'm growing stronger.
Oh, you're headed back to Reen? Yeah. You all on your way back then? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit bushed today. I figured it was about time to return to the dorms, too. Uh, to be honest, I was hoping to get some more studying in, but since everyone else was going back... <laughs> Good old peer pressure. Oh, aren't Laura and Fee with you? I'm afraid not. We looked for them, but they were nowhere to be found. They're old enough to find their own way back. I guess you're right, but it's a shame we couldn't all go back together. Reen? Huh? Hmm. Uh, who is that girl? Isn't that uniform... Elise? When did you... What? I is that your sister? The one and only. What are you doing here, Elise? And this late in the day, too. Look deep in your heart and you'll find your answer. What? It's a pleasure to meet all of you. I'm Elise, Reen's sister. I apologize for cutting in, but would it be possible for me to borrow him for a while?
It's been a while, huh? Must be six months since I saw you? Seven? Yeah. The last time I saw you was when I came back to Ymir at the end of last year. But I always thought we'd have a chance to meet up after you enrolled here. I'm sorry. I wanted to meet you out here too, it's just... I've been so busy lately. Besides, it's not easy to get permission to leave St. Astraea's campus, is it? That's entirely beside the point. Heimdall is just 30 minutes from Trista by train. Add 20 more minutes travel time to get from Central Station to my school. But I suppose you're so tied up that even 50 minutes is too much time to spare for a little visit. I'm sorry, I really am. I kept being hit with classwork, exams, field studies. But you're right. I probably could have made time if I'd made that a priority. It's just that... Yes? Well... It's just that when I saw you last year, you seemed kind of... distant. I thought maybe you'd started to find me a bother, so I figured it'd be best to just stay out of your way, I guess. I was never distant! Maybe it seemed that way because... Well, it's kind of a personal thing. I'd rather not talk about it. If something's bothering you, you know you can always tell me about it. It, it doesn't matter. What does matter is that I've never thought of you as a bother, ever! And I swear on Adios' name that I never will! R really I'm happy to hear that. Alright then. I'm going to clear up some time to come to the capital and see you. Promise. And you're always welcome to come visit me here, too. R really <coughs> I'm glad to hear it. After growing up together, you're the last person I'd want to feel distant from. <laughs> you're right. So, is that what you came all the way out here to talk about? Seems a little overbearing just for that. Well, our lack of communication has definitely been on my mind. But that's not the main reason I came here today. Do you really not know why I came? Should I? Oh, that's the last letter I sent to you, isn't it? Oh, did you come for the souvenir I got you on our trip to the Nord Highlands? I found this cute accessory there that I figured you'd like. You did? Wait, no, that's not why I came either. The issue here is the final part of your letter. It's possible that after I graduate, I'll join the army. Even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live. I really want to repay Mom and Dad for all they've done for me, so I'd appreciate your help with that at some point. I'm looking forward to catching up with you. Hope you're doing well. Rain Schwarzer. Ah, that. What did you mean by, even if I don't though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live? Or by wanting to repay mother and father? You make it sound as though you intend to sever ties with them. You can't honestly be thinking that you're going to quietly bow out of succeeding father as head of the family. Are you, Rain? That's exactly what I'm thinking. I have no intention of becoming the head of the family or the next Baron Schwarzer. <gasps> What's so surprising about that? I was adopted. I wasn't born into a nobleman's life. The best thing would be for you to marry a good man and have him succeed Dad as Baron. That doesn't even make sense! You might not be related to us by blood, but you're still father's only son! And the right of adopted children to succeed their family name is recognized under Imperial law! Yeah, if the adopted child is of noble blood. At least that's how it's gone in most cases, and I'm not. Oh. What am I? Some abandoned kid that Dad found buried in a blizzard 12 years ago. I couldn't even remember where I was from, or life before that. Just my name. And when he chose to take me in as his son, Dad became the hot topic of high society. People called him eccentric, crazy. Some of them even accused him of being unfaithful to Mom. One even asked him to his face if he intended to open wide the gates of the nobility to some low-born bastard. At some point, he got tired of dealing with all of it. He started to avoid leaving Ymir. And eventually, he stopped showing his face at all among the nobility. 
except on rare occasions. I've caused a lot of trouble for our family, and I really don't want to cause any more than I already have. I doubt I'll be able to leave the Schwarzer name behind. But at the very least, I want you and Mom and Dad to have the respect you deserve with your peers. After all, you'll be 16 next year, making your debut into high society. <laughs> I know it might seem extreme to you, but try to understand how I feel. I'll still visit Ymir. It's not like I want to just walk out of your lives altogether. That's not it. I mean, Mom and Dad have always looked out for me, and that's a debt I'll never... You don't get it. What? You don't get it at all. You don't understand how Father feels. You don't understand how Mother feels. And you don't understand how I feel. Elise? <laughs> You're the worst! Why do you always have to be so stubborn? I hate you! I hate you! Elise... Well, what are you doing just standing there? What are you... Look, I'm sorry we might have overheard you, but that's beside the point right now. Don't just stand there, go after her! She was crying. <gasps> I know this isn't a simple problem, but you can't just leave things like they are. She needs you. Indeed. You have a duty to her as family. Okay. I will. If you see her around, let her know I'm looking for her. We will. So get going! <laughs> You've got a slap or two coming when you do find her, I'd wager. Or anywhere. I need to start looking around the entire campus.
What am I going to do? I can't find her anywhere. Did she go back into town? It feels like she wouldn't have left the academy grounds, though. Yo, Reen, what's up? Crow? I'm just looking for someone. A classmate? Or did some second year sweetheart confess to you and you botched things up? Actually, it's my younger sister. She's not a student here, though. Oh, you have a sister? Honestly, I always kind of got that only child vibe from you. Well... I guess that must be who that girl I saw earlier was then. Long black hair, St. Astraya Academy uniform, tear-stained cheeks... That has to be her! Where did you last see her? She was talking with one of those upper crust boys in white, out on that path behind the school. That stuck-up first year... what's his name? High Arms, I think? Don't you dare start acting like you're above me, Reen Schwarzer! Just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood! With him? He's the worst! Why does he never think about what would make him happy? I'm such an idiot! Why can't I just be more honest with him? And with myself? Who might you be? That's the uniform of Heimdall St. Astraya Girls' School, if I'm not mistaken. What brings a lady like yourself all the way out here? <laughs> I I'm sorry, I... No, no, I, I apologize. I, I wasn't accusing you of anything. I... W wait, right, I, I, I should introduce myself first. My name is Patrick. Patrick Hyams. I'm sure you've heard the name before. Hyams? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Elise Schwarzer, daughter of Baron Schwarzer. Ah, Elise. Such a lovely sounding name. Wait a second. Schwarzer? Uh, as in Reen Schwarzer? Are you his sister? I yes Reen is my elder brother. <sighs> Why does she have to be related to that Cretan? But wait, he was adopted. That means they aren't related by blood. It seems you're not on the best of terms with my brother. I don't wish to cause you any unpleasantness, so I'll just excuse myself. N no no, you aren't. I, I mean... Wait! Th that way! You said you saw her behind the old schoolhouse. Which way did she go? Hmm. Oh, right. Come on. I'll show you where I saw her. Where could she have scurried off to? The old schoolhouse is usually locked, so I don't think she could have gone in there. Patrick! You? Where's Elise? You better not have tried to pick a fight with her and scared her off! I... I did no such thing! 
I, I just happened to see her crying, so I approached her to see what was wrong. Then when she took off running this way, I, I followed her, out of gentlemanly concern. <sighs> Looks like she definitely came through here, though. You think she could have gone into that old schoolhouse you guys poke around in every month? Couldn't be. We locked it after we finished up in there earlier. Huh. this place. The door wasn't locked. A cat? saw earlier. I don't see anywhere it could have hidden itself. Oh, it looks like there's something written here. an elevator. I must have descended pretty far underground. What's this? A red door? seems awfully huge. Maybe it leads to somewhere important? Elise! Where are you? Hmm. No sign of her. <sighs> Why do I have to? <coughs> Elise! A scream? It came from farther inside. It came from below. What, what is this place? Wow, so this is what it looks like down here now? Going down, huh? Alright then, Patty Cakes. Time to lock and load. D don't call me that! What the hell is that? A, a 
giant suit of armor? What's happening? Is he trying to suppress his power? <clears throat> no, I'm not going to be swallowed by it anymore. I don't have a chance of beating that thing, but I have to try anyway. To take back myself, and take back what I lost that winter's day. <clears throat> what? You're not thinking of leaving me out of the action, are you? Take care of the girl, Catastrophe. Don't call me that either! Thanks. I owe you one. No problem. Let's fire up those combat links. Here we go! Yeah, you're done. Cross Raven! <laughs> See ya! Here we go! Huh. My turn! Alright, let's you do this! It. <clears throat> Leave it to me! Eat lead! Here we go! Arcus, act huh! All right. Arcus, activate. Go. Arcus, activate. Here. My turn. There. All right. Bang, bang, bang. Here we go. There. Now's a chance. Gotcha. Leave it to me. Freeze. <laughs> Get it? You picked the wrong guy to mess with. Huh. 
<sighs> ah, damn. I thought I'd finished my crash course in craziness half a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Crow. So you can use Arcus too? Yeah, I was part of the trial program for Class 7. That's how I met Toa, George, and Jellica. I see. Reen? Police! Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Uh, I'm fine. I just lost my balance when that tremor hit earlier. But thank you for protecting me. Just like you did back then. No, this time was different, wasn't it? I... Yeah, I pulled through. Somehow. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh. Here comes the cleanup crew. Reen! Are you alright? Is your sister... Oh, good. It looks like she's okay. What happened here? A giant suit of armor? It looks like something imbued with the magic of the Dark Ages. I can't begin to imagine what must have transpired here. Well, a tough fight did, at least. You're all here. Ugh, <sighs> good grief. <sighs> I'm so relieved you were able to find your sister and that everyone's okay. She's even more of a beauty than I'd imagined. Oh, I'd love to get some hands-on time with that door in this suit of armor. I swear, it's almost comforting how you guys never change. But hey, what took you, Instructor? Sorry about that. Still, it looks like you guys managed to handle things just fine without me. I take it this big lug came from inside that door? Yes. I was just looking at it when suddenly... Hold on. Let's just give our report starting from the top. Trista. It's July 18th and things are finally cooling down now at 9 p.m. So pour yourself a cold drink and let's roll right into tonight's Aubin time, shall we? It's just over a week until Heimdall kicks off its summer festival, a month after the rest of the country. I'm sure plenty of you out there might be thinking of the concert in the Heimdall Opera House or the summer races. But the festival is best known for its opening day events, traditionally attended by members of the Imperial family. This year, Crown Prince Cedric will be making an appearance at the ceremony in Heimdall Cathedral. And his sister, Princess Alfin, will be attending a posh garden party sponsored by Heimdall City Hall. I would have loved to see the Empire's two greatest treasures in person, but alas, I can't get away from work that day. But don't you worry, I'm still planning on winning my bets on the summer races. I'll let you know how I do. If you're not old enough to place a bet, don't worry. You'll be able to make questionable financial decisions soon enough. Moving along, I'm sure by now many of you have heard about the ongoing construction of the giant building in Crossbell State. It's supposed to be even taller than the Rhineford building in Ruhr, making it the continent's first true skyscraper. The latest reports say that construction is almost complete and that it'll be unveiled at next month's trade conference. A lot of you have been writing in about it, so I'll be sure to keep you posted with all the latest.